Hello YouTubers. I just wanted to show some of the books that I made today along with the Your Story. Um, we've been making these little gifts for a party that my girls are going to today for all their friends and what we did was we made these out of cardstock. This is made from the We Are Memory Keepers paper line. Um, this one is the, let's see if I can show it, this is the Nonsense line. I don't know if they still make this one. I've had this paper line for a really long time. So I decided I would use it since I had this nice little grommet set. See, We Are Memory Keepers sells these metal grommets and there's a set of six. So there's seven girls at this party, uh, but I have another set that I can use as well. Um, so we're using the grommets on all of these little books. So what's inside of these books is just some photos of the girls with their friends and um, pictures that they've all taken together over the years and also some white paper. I made my spine one centimeter thick so that I could fit not only photos in here but also paper. But for future reference I would not make it this thick. Again this is my first time doing it with this um, one that I have um, because I had to really stack in a lot of paper in here. Um, and I'm afraid it's going to pop out over time. So again, if you're just at home and you have a your story, you can just remelt and the glue and get it all to stick back in there. But most of these girls don't have one of these machines at home, so I should have made my spine a little thinner. Now, what I did was I'll show these books again when I'm done. Is on HSN when I was watching it actually this morning like 7 o'clock this morning on my DVR <laughs> um, I noticed that the lady demoing it took one of the hardbound books that came with the your story and she just traced around it so she put it down on her scrapbook paper like this and she traced all around it and and that's good but also you have to add a little bit of an allowance like if you're gonna make a half inch I mean a one centimeter spine then you're going to want to add one centimeter in overall um, in overall length. I'm sorry, I'm totally off camera. Okay, so down here you don't want to just end your line right here, but rather you want to measure how further out you want to go, whether that be one centimeter or half a centimeter, and then draw your line there. Let me see if I can hold that up. So you'll want to measure and then draw your line out there. And then you can cut it all the way across. Now on a 12 by 12, obviously you can't um, just go straight across because your book measures 12 by 12 spread out, but you still need to allow, allow for the seam and for the portion in the middle. So um, that's why I did not just cut it at 12 inches, but you're gonna, this is one of those four by six books you're going to have to do it on an angle in order to get that other half a centimeter of allowance that you need. So after we cut that out, we took our cuddle bug, and I'm sorry, I took my Martha Stewart scoring board and I scored, I measured my middle point, so my middle point was right here, so I went two tick marks that way and two tick marks that way on my Martha Stewart board. Ideally what you probably want to do is just do one and one on both sides of your center mark. Then make your other little folds there so that your cover can flip open. So that's the overall paper that I just showed you. Then we ran another PC. These are all double sided. Every single one of those books has double sided. So I took the scraps and we ran that through the cuddle bug and, um, and put that on there. And again this is from another sheet and just put a triangle right there and then all the others we added the grommet down here which I haven't done it to this cover yet. Then on the inside I went and took my hot glue gun and just added a bead of hot glue right down the center. So after this I will just add my photos and add my paper and stack it all in there and put it in the machine just by clicking the on button and bind and wait it to, for it to beat. Now when it's done it looks something like this. So this one just came out of the machine. Um, 
most of the time I don't do all the decorating before I put it in the machine just because I want to make sure I don't melt any embellishments or anything but these aren't going to melt and they're so far away from the heat source that it didn't matter but I did not add my ribbon before I stuck it in the machine so um, this is again was stacked with several papers in there and so that it's double sided so then what I did was I took a little ribbon and I used my ATG gun and I just added some adhesive on the back of my ribbon and then I tied a little knot right there and then I'll add it to my book sorry I have so many books laying around now I don't even know where to start okay so on this one let's see if I can get my camera any closer now a little better huh all right so then I just take this and I'll add it right here and right here flip it over and add it on the inside I'm sorry I'm trying not to show the little girl's picture because it's not my child so I don't know how her parents feel about it all right so then I put the ribbon on the inside there and so there it is. So that's how I made my own little cardstock covers. You can use any thick cardstock. Um, if you don't have cardstock and you just have designer paper, um, Stamping Up has nice paper. Um, Close to My Heart has nice, very nice thick cardstock. And so does We Are Memory Keepers. This is nice and sturdy. Um, die Cuts with a View is good too. I just wouldn't use the textured cardstock because I think when you try to score like this, um, that Die Cuts with a View textured cardstock may tear on you when you're trying to, to fold your book and everything. So these are my books. And if you have any questions or you need me to go slower in demonstrating um, how to make your own books, with the Your Story Machine, let me know and I'll take more time, but I wanted to make sure to show these books before we took them off to the party today. Thanks for watching.